Welcome to Dude RV. I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. It's Friday. Time for another episode of Friday's Finds. This episode of Friday's Finds is going is sponsored by New Air. They have sent us a big old 48 quart electric car fridge freezer to check out. Let's open up this big old box and see what's in it. sure what that goes to okay we have pull it out and one of the things i noticed right off the bat it's got the energy guide on the side of it you don't see that with too many too many electric ice chests it's a freezer and a refrigerator so let me educate myself a little more on this And we'll talk about it after I've educated myself and can speak intelligently about what we have here. I'll be back. Stay tuned. So we're talking about the new air 48 quart 12 volt refrigerator freezer. I like it. We're, we're about to go to the grocery. It takes us 20 minutes to get to the grocery store on a good day. The temperature right now is 100 degrees. So if we buy frozen food, we got to break the law coming home. Or we did have to. Now we don't. I've got this set at the freezer level. So it's 12 degrees on one side and minus three on the other. So we can buy all the frozen pizzas we can eat. Actually, we're gonna take this to the grocery store and we've, we've not done this yet. So we're gonna go to the grocery store with the, the new Air 48 quart and see how it works out. Now, on their website, they show that they actually have a battery pack. You can see it. A battery pack that goes right there. But they're out of stock. So I've been testing this portable 12 volt refrigerator for a couple weeks now and I have found that I can run it on my 500 amp battery bank in the house. One side refrigerator, one side freezer. I can run it for 12 hours and the battery bank drops to about 20%, 20-25%. Outside in 110 degree temperature in the sun the battery bank was about six hours so you know the conditions are going to determine how long a, a battery source works for you i have a 50 amp portable solar panel array now i didn't did i mention that this is solar ready two different input points so you can do direct solar with a 12 volt plug or you can do the 12 volt adapter. So I've got a, an adapter that goes with this. So I can plug the solar panel directly into that, but the 50 watt panel is not enough to power the compressor. 100 amp, I think would be sufficient. I, I think it really sets power. It's got an energy star rating or an energy guide. So the $24 a year. 
or 196 kilowatt hours. I think that's, that's pretty good. Been real, real impressed with it so far. Well, let's go shopping and see how much stuff we can actually put in this. All right, we've just finished shopping at Kroger. We got a whole bunch of perishables. Yay! We're gonna see how many we can fit into here. Now I had the both sides set to freeze. But I've since raised the temperature. We have these. Even if they're in the fridge. These on the fridge side too. Each is not going to fit. That's fine. What else do we have in front of them? That. Get the fridge to the ice cream. The trees are okay. Throw the milk in there. And this one. Nope. These are good. Go ahead and get these bags. Pizzas won't go in. Pizzas are not going to fit. Cheese. That's going to fit. You got green for veggies. Yeah. Veggie puppies. Okay. These are any veggies can go. Just throw them in, or they'll just stay there. I, I, I can't. I can't put them in there with the bags. All right. Okay. So let me put that with the pizza. I think that's about all we're going to be able to fit in there. All right, back to the house. We've returned from our grocery trip. The portable refrigerator did a fantastic job. I learned a few things since then. We have about one, right over, just slightly over one cubic foot of space in the refrigerator and about point four cubic feet i mean less than half of a cubic foot in the freezer space but if you're just going out camping for several nights solo or as a couple you've got more than enough space in here for for fresh food and since you can turn both of them into a freezer you can actually take quite a bit of frozen stuff with you and reading the the included literature, you do want to use a 100 amp solar panel for the to power this, because a, a 50 is just not enough. Uh, and they recommend you have that in the shade so that the compressor is not having to work as hard. Man, there's, it's a great thing. Man. I have nothing but good things to say about it. I really like this long handle. It makes moving it around a lot easier. Now I did find, before the pickup had to go back into the shop, I did find that it was a little wide to sit in the rear floorboard. I had to put it at a kind of an angle, but that's okay. I mean, it fit, it just wasn't as good a fit as a, a slightly narrower setup would be. Not a deal breaker. I think this is a great value. And I know you will too. We do want to say thank you to New Air for sponsoring this episode of Friday's Finds. You will find a link for this in the description below as well as in the card above. I, I can't say enough good things about it. I encourage you to check it out. There's a code down there in the description with the link. That'll save you some money too. We appreciate your business. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you found this to be enjoyable or entertaining in any way, shape, or form, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. Click that thumbs up and hit the bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am, thank you. I am most honored. And for my patrons, 
Thank you. It's appreciated. You rock. And now we can listen to Yappy eat pretzels. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear?